my name is Brandy. I'm a hygienist at the holistic practice of Dr. Fred Dreer and Dr. Tom Horgan, and we're in Boston Spa, New York. Uh, we have a lot of patients that come into us concerned about over-the-counter toothpaste and the toxic materials that can be found in them, including things that they're concerned about like fluoride, um, sodium lauryl sulfate that some people are sensitive to, things like um, unnatural sweeteners, which can be known to be carcinogenic. So what I am doing today is to show you how easy it is to make a homemade toothpaste recipe with all natural ingredients. So I'm going to start. We already pre-proportioned out our ingredients, including things like three tablespoons of coconut oil, which helps to control the pH of the mouth and to naturally detox the gums. Come on, bear with me, my dears. Okay. Oh, I should probably get my glasses on for safety. We also have bentonite clay, which helps does the same, do the same thing. So it helps make the toothpaste creamy and smooth and also detoxes the gums and conditions the gums. Mm -hmm. We have one, and that's three tablespoons if I didn't say that. One teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide, which helps oxygenate the bacteria and helps kill it. We have three tablespoons of baking soda, Obviously, aluminum-free baking soda is probably the best choice. Just a little pinch of salt to help. Um, salt helps dehydrate the bacteria, uh, and it creates a little roughness to help abrade some of the, the um, bacteria off the teeth. And I didn't say, but baking soda does help to control the pH of the environment. Um, a bacteria likes naturally acidic pH, so baking soda is a little bit more basic. Now, you can add stuff as simple as adding uh, activated charcoal tablets into uh, the homemade toothpaste uh, recipe, but the thing is, is it does turn it black. So some people may not prefer to brush with black toothpaste. Activated charcoal actually helps to bind to toxic ingredients in the mouth, and it also helps to whiten the teeth, believe it or not. As dark as it is, it helps whiten our teeth, so we're nice and shiny. All right, so now I'm gonna mix all the ingredients together. If for some reason you're allergic to coconut oil, you can use, substitute a different oil, like grapeseed oil, possibly, um, avocado oil, something along that lines. So I'm just gonna mix it all together. Um, and then when I get it mostly mixed together, we're gonna add some essential oils, because essential oils are great, ooh, I'm making a mess. Essential oils are great to help reduce bacteria count in the mouth, and they also make it taste a little bit better. Okay, that actually comes together very nicely. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. So we're gonna add, today we're gonna add peppermint oil, which is great for flavor. And you can add anywhere from 10 to 20 drops of essential oils. Today we're gonna to add just about 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. And we're also gonna add uh, Thieves. Thieves is a blend that helps antibacterial blend and it helps to um, refresh the mouth and keep us nice and healthy. So that's 20 drops total. Beautiful. I'm going to mix a little bit more and then I'll show you the color difference between the one with charcoal and one without. Okay, sorry for the tongue. And simple and easy. Thanks for visiting our site. Uh, we hope to see you again soon.